Hi, this is Bob Stahl, and this is a video blog for the MBSR workbook. And today I'd like to tell a story of when I lived in a Buddhist monastery a number of years ago when some roosters moved in, and the roosters became my object of meditation. Every Saturday we would have day-long sessions, and it so happened that the meditation hall was located on the first floor. And very often, this group of roosters, there were six of them, would hop up on the window cells, And they would cockle-doodle-doo throughout the day. Growing up in the city, I had thought that roosters just crow in the morning, but these roosters would be crowing four in the morning, ten in the morning, two in the afternoon, eight at night. Maybe they had no hens, no girlfriends, but for whatever reason, these roosters were a crowing. And I had a lot of time while I was sitting during the day-long meditations to think about all the different ways that I could kill a rooster. I could sit on it, could stab it, shoot it, poison it, hang it, drown it. You can get very creative as you sit all day long stewing in your anger, which and when I was a newer meditator, I certainly did. Well, I've had enough, and I went to go see my old meditation teacher, Venerable Lindit Sero, who has been a monk for probably over almost 70 years at that point. And I explained to him about the roosters and how we have to get rid of them. And his cheeks started to move up and down, and he began to look at me a little sternly, but also with a smile on his face and saying, these roosters are your teachers. And they're teaching you about hearing, hearing, anger, anger. Go back in there and meditate. Well, I felt like a dog with my tail in between my legs and being an obedient and loving son to my teacher, I went back into the hall and began to work with the roosters. Now, hearing meditation is a very powerful practice, and we can begin to experience this changing nature of sounds, just like we can bring our awareness to sensations or to visual impressions or to the breath or mind states. And I began to notice in time that even these roosters that were cock a doo doing that there was separations. There was cock a do 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 beginnings and endings to sounds. And in time, gradually, my agitation transformed itself into a meditation. Now, metaphorically speaking, the roosters can be found everywhere. Wherever we go, wherever we meditate, there are at times as things that we considered to be distractions in practice. The moral of this story and this lesson for me personally was to realize that the roosters were everywhere, the metaphorical roosters. So why not begin our practice right now, wherever we are, and work with what's here, with the anger, with what's inside us. So thank you very much, and um, let's just keep our practice going, working with the roosters wherever they are. May we all be at peace.